morning. Morning, people. How you going? We are working on a 79 series Land Cruiser. Yeah. And it's brand new. Brand new. Yes. So we are sorting out all of the silver. Yes. Getting the blackout special. Yes. So side skirts will be painted. Rear bar, all painted. He's already sorted out the black tint, blacked out the wheels. And yeah, the handles on the doors will stay silver. I think we should black them out as well, but customer wants just the bars done and the side steps. So we're gonna show you in this process, or in this process, how we paint chrome. So chrome is a particularly hard thing to paint because it's hard to get things to stick. So we'll be using an industrial paint, we're using a matte paint, so we'll walk through the process, so keep watching. All right, so I have just taken off the number plate in order to remove this silver trim. I assume that there's gonna be clips on the inside of the trims. I don't have to pull this whole front end off. So come with me and we'll find it. Perfect, we've got some blue clips all throughout the front bar. Are they like a wedge clip or something? Yeah. Easy. You just press the press that in and pull it out. Nice. Oh hey guys! Yeah! I'm on my back. Pulling random things out of a car. The, whatever this is. Cruiser. Oh, we got it. Clip removal. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, get another one of that. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Here's another one, just like the other one. Ba -da, ba -da, da -da. Oh, I'm laughing myself. You gotta be your own comedian, like, you know, just laugh at yourself. Yeah, baby. We got another one. Now we're good. Didn't break, just hit me in the face. Woo! I think that's it. This might be taped on as well. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll figure it out. What do we get there? Ooh, it's loud. All right, so we've removed all the clips. You would have seen that underneath. Bit of a funny one, that one. But now we can pull this bad unit off. Is it coming? It's coming. There we go. Oosh! Look at that. Look at that. Uh, it's not even metal. It's plastic. It's plastic. Ew, that's all I have to say. Come on Toyota, pick up your game. That's gonna change though. Um, plastic, plastic, really? Why plastic? I thought it was metal at least. I'm very disappointed, because now, you know, I'll still use the same paint, but we've got to change it. Again, now we've got to change the way we paint this. So we have to key it, have the plastic primer, and then we'll have to paint it. Really disappointed. All right, we can move on to the rear bar. It should be very similar, be very similar apparently. Should be. <laughs> um, for the side steps, they're aluminium, so we will have to use um, a particular etch on those, so yeah. stay tuned. We're at the back of the car, and we're gonna figure out how to take the back off. So underneath, there's all these bolts, but I reckon there's some sneaky ones under there because you wouldn't just put things here for no reason. So we're gonna pop them off and find out what's underneath. Just as I suspected. There's some bolts, and more bolts, and more bolts. So we'll undo them and then start on the bottom. All right, so I've got to remove this silver tray thing first. So there's just a few bolts that hold it in and then I've got to pull these lights out to be able to then pull this silver off and hopefully I can get to all of the bolts easily but it's a Toyota so it's also probably not going to be easy we got the step off now to do the next things we got one side of the silver off now to do the other side millions of bolts had to take out the light had to take out uh, this trailer lamp as well um, so the next side should be a little bit easier as uh, there's less stuff inside of it, hopefully. But yeah, quite happy with how pulling this one out went. Learn something new every day. 
It's good. We are here on the underside of the other side to get this silver panel off. So I've got to try and reach my hand around and uh, unclip this bad boy. It's exhausting being under this exhaust. <laughs> oh, look at that! We got it! We got the clip! <laughs> what do I need? Need a 14 mil. 14! What a good guess! So this one is a 12, I know that. And it's got a bolt on the other side, but we're just gonna send it. Maybe I might have to hold the uh, top with my finger. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Just look at it. So these ones here, obviously you would have seen. I'll show you. They're like flat there. So they're like a square that hold there and then it's just a bolt, a nut on the other side, sorry. So I've got to hold the top with my finger. Can we make it happen? Oops. Got one of them done. Because these, we also have to make them black. <laughs> Got that out of 12 mil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get it on there. We got it. Oh, we got it. Let's see how you get it here. Ooh, we got it off. Now we got to work on the side skirts. So back's done, front's done, now to do the side skirts, side steps, whatever you want to call them. These ones here, pretty simple. 10 mil bolts all along and they should pop off. Should, keyword. Look at that! I know. We got it. We got it. All right. So we got all the silver things out. Got them here on the side, ready to prepare. I'll walk you through that next. Woo! All right. I've washed the plastic bar and I've now prep sold it. You know, still a couple bugs on there. I'll sand them off. It's not a problem. I'm going to hit it with 320 pad. The metal, I'm going to hit with 240 though. So when we get up to those, it's going to be fun, especially this one because of all the grooves, but we'll get it done. All right, the correction on this. It is steel coated plastic, so we need to 240 it, otherwise the edge primer won't stick. Won't stick. Won't yeah. stick. And the problem is with uh, Sanding it, it actually doesn't feel like you're sanding it at all because there's no resistance on this. That's the problem with chrome. There's no resistance. I don't even know if you can see what he has sanded. I don't know if the camera... Oh yeah, no, it does pick it up so you can see what is not done versus what is done. And I don't know why you'd ever have this because this, anytime you wash it, you're going to get a scratch on it. And just like that. We're done with the front. Woo! Dechromed. Love it. Time to paint it. Hey! <laughs> what up? He's made it on the camera. I have today. I've been painting stuff. So, most of it's done. Now we've got the side steps and the middle step. Middle step, yeah. So. And these ones are the fun ones because they're grooved. Exactly. Woohoo! Go team. So much excitement. All right. We sort of mustered away a little bit and um, got everything done. It's all ready to be painted. So it's all scuffed and sanded and ready to go. So we've got the bolts done, the rear bar stuff, the side skirts and the front piece of chrome as well. Tomorrow Brett will prime it and paint it. So he'll be using the camera tomorrow while I'm out and about. on our blacked out 79 cruiser project that we've got going on. 
So all the stuff was rubbed yesterday by Harrison, uh, and then today I painted it all this morning. So we used Valspar Industrial Satin Black, which is the same paint we use on our VL fascias. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. Um, and great product. So it basically, it's the same sort of stuff that you'll see on like your hand railings or industrial stuff that lives outside. Um, so it's a lot more hardy when it comes to weather, stone chips and all that sort of stuff. Downsides is, is it takes longer to dry. Um, and obviously being satin, if you get something in it or if you get a run of something in it, you can't polish it. So, but other than that, solid stuff. Let's have a look. Ooh, look at that. So we bake, that, bake this at 50 degrees for 40 minutes and we'll still leave it overnight and then I possibly might even bake it again in the morning just to make sure it's really, really hard. Because you can see, even on the tin, it's still pretty soft. 